I want to spread so much love. You know, it's like, man, I got a lot of love to spread. And I just want the world, you feel me? I want the world to hear it. You know, so it's like I'm crying for everybody, man. And, and for real love, man. I really find being comfortable, like, myself to the maximum, like, being individual. Like, I'm pushing into, you know, just be you. You know, don't, you know, worry. I got the same, you know, dirty bands on. I'm aware it's get a million dollars. You know what I mean? Today, we will be talking about the base god, aka Little B, from putting a curse on legendary NBA player Kevin Durant to being one of the most influential rappers of the 2000s. Brandon McCartney, aka Little B, would be born on August 17th, 1989 in Berkeley, California, where he'd grow up in the Ocean View Apartments, which wasn't the best place to live, especially in the early 90s and late 2000s when the crime rate was at an all-time high for Berkeley. Being around in this environment taught Little B a lot of things, and while for the most part, Little B was staying out of trouble, he still was a young kid, and he began hanging around the wrong people. He began skipping class and smoking weed. Moving on to high school, Little B would only get more involved in the streets, with him hitting licks and beginning to sell crack. This is where Little B first got the nickname Bass, which used to be the term for someone who was selling crack. In freshman year, Little B would become friends with a kid by the name of Lloyd Ampito, aka Young L, who would then introduce Little B to one of his friends, Demonte Johnson, aka Little Uno, who would then introduce Little B to one of his friends, Keith Jenkins, aka Stunnaman. The one thing they all had in common was that they all wanted to make music, so together all of them would begin a collective called the Wolf Pack. In the early days of the pack, they were recording their music in Young L's closet with just a basic mic setup, and with the help of Young L's mother, they were actually able to perform at some house parties. The group would release their first mixtape, Wolf Pack Music, in 2005. This mixtape didn't really have much success though. Then in early 2006, the pack would release their first hit song, Vans, and shortly after its release, Least, rapper Too Short would sign the group to his label Up All Night Records. However, while the success of the song was great, Little B was still getting caught up in the streets, and he would be arrested for stealing a car and selling crack, where he would then spend 8 months in juvenile hall. After coming out of juvie, Little B realized he was done with all the fast money and adrenaline rushes of stealing cars and selling dope, so he began to focus more on his music and altogether working towards a better future. It is also around this time that Little B would start working on something called a bass freestyle. What is a bass freestyle? Well, I'm gonna let Little B explain that. I started bass freestyling and I put my freestyles up because I was like, man, you know, I want people to really hear me. And, and, and if like, if they like me, for me at my purest form, like when I write and I'm really, you know, working and I'm really, you know, like a, 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 all my other art they'll appreciate, mm -hmm. you know? Little B's idea of bass would make it into the pack's next album, Bass Boys, which sadly would receive poor sales and subsequently their label would drop them. After being dropped by their label, it gave them all time to think about what they really wanted to do in their lives, such as if they wanted to still chase this music dream or if they even wanted to go to college or something. But what Little B found out is that he wasn't meant for a group. He had his own crazy ideas that just really wouldn't work as a group, so Little B officially left the pack. Ah, the internet. Such a beautiful place. And it is a place where the bass god would really first start. Little B would make his MySpace in late 2008, where he would then begin to post his bass freestyles and his remixes of popular songs of the time, such as Lil Wayne's A Millie. This use of the internet was one thing that made Little B stand out from other rappers. The only other person who was doing anything similar at the time was Soulja Boy. Then, in May of 2009, Little B would start his Twitter. This is important because on Twitter, Little B would start a lot of the trends that he is known for today, such as thank you bass god memes, Little B quoting himself, and the whole foot thing. But basically, all of these things combined definitely got Little B a lot of popularity. Then on September 23rd, 2009, Little B would release his first ever mixtape as the bass god, I'm Thrax, which really didn't do a whole lot, but the same could not be said for his next tape, Six Kiss. This tape has been said to be the tape that created the genre cloud rap, which would later influence rappers such as ASAP Rocky and Space Ghost Perp. Little B would release his first ever book called Taken Over by Imposing the Positive, My Personal Rap to You at the Young Age of 19. The book talks about his criminal past and how to have self-love. Little B also claims it's the first book to be somewhat written through a phone. At the start of 2010, Little B would sign to Soldier Boy's record label, Stacks on Deck Entertainment. After signing to the record label, Little B would release his collab album with Soldier Boy called Pretty Boy Millionaires on July 5th, 2010. The album would have a song called Cooking Dance, which would popularize Little B's cooking dance, which would go viral with people posting their cooking dances online. 
However, after the album, Little B would leave Soulja Boy's record label and sign to Weird Forest Records, where he would then release his first ever solo album, Rain in England. Then in 2011, Little B would become an XXL freshman alongside rappers such as Kendrick Lamar and Yellow Wolf. Trade him to the magic, exhibit bass, not exhibit C. Niggas couldn't see, let me part the sea. Then on April 5th, 2011, Little B would release his album, I'm Gay, which would get instant backlash, and Little B would even receive a few death threats. After receiving the hate, Little B would clarify that the album's title meant the old meaning of gay and wasn't meant to cause offense to anyone. He would also change the title to I'm Gay, I'm Happy in brackets. One of the most important events in Little B's career would also happen in 2011, when on Twitter NBA player Kevin Durant would say, I tried to listen to Little B, my mind wouldn't let me do it. I can't believe this guy is relevant. After KD tweeted this, Little B would also tweet, KD will never win the title after he said Little B is a whack rapper, the base god's curse on Kevin Durant. Then, KD said he'd play Little B in a game of 21, and Little B agreed and said he'd remove the curse if this happened. Sadly, it did not happen and this curse was not lifted. So when Kevin Durant's team, the Oklahoma City Thunders, went up against the infamous Miami Heat for the NBA Finals, they lost. The curse on KD had just begun. Through the rest of 2011, 2012, and 2013, Little B really just kept to himself. He just kept releasing music and not doing anything too crazy or new. But notable projects are Godfather's Mixtape, Trapped in Bass World, Obama Bass God, and 05 FM. Then on June 1st, 2014, Little B would release his infamous mixtape, Hoop Life, which would feature the song F Kevin Durant, where Little B would mock KD for not meeting him on the court. Then on November 24th, 2014, Little B got an opportunity to speak at MIT, where he gave an hour and a half lecture where he talked about many different topics such as healthy living and how to be a good person. This would just be the start though, as Little B would go on to lecture at many different colleges throughout the years. Something tragic would happen to Little B on January 16th, 2015. Little B would be sleeping in his apartment when he heard a large banging on his door. As he woke to consciousness, the smell of something burning hit him, and he quickly rushed out of the building, realizing it was a fire. After this, Little B took to Twitter to post a photo of the fire, with a few other tweets of him just saying he was happy to be alive, and was thankful that Mateo Ismal, the 15 year old who banged on his door, did so that morning. If not, he most likely wouldn't be alive. Sadly though, some of Little B's music would be destroyed and he wouldn't drop anything in 2016. But he would appear on Sports Nation in what could only be explained as an interesting attire, where he would then begin talking about the whole Kevin Durant situation. Then, on July 4th, 2016, Katie left the Thunder and joined Little B's home team, the Golden State Warriors, where Little B would then lift the curse on KD. Then on August 16th, 2017, Little B would drop his first official mixtape, Black Ken, which would get quite a bit of commercial success. On October 21st, 2017, Little B would be scheduled to play at Rolling Loud. However, before his set, Little B would be backstage and say something to a boogie about his music. He didn't like this, and him and PMB Rock's crew would jump Little B, leaving him injured so Little B couldn't perform his set that day. However, he still went on stage and said this it's all good i said something about boogie music and they all got mad and they jumped me about that so it's all good i'm still here i got jumped by like 10 motherfuckers you know what i said be by myself it's all love though like i said it's all love and i got and i got love for everybody so i just want to tell y'all because they stole my shit and everything so i can't even do my show because they stole my shit Shortly after, Little B would talk to a boogie on the phone where a boogie would apologize. And that's basically it for Little B. He's still making music to this day and promoting his bass movement. Little B is someone who had to struggle to get where he is today. He easily could have gone back to the streets, but Little B decided to take a better path. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.